Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardwell's Cauldron here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, of course, we have a fun little new deck. We're bringing back an old deck that I made, but it has a couple of new cards in there that hopefully kick it over the edge. But before we do, I'm going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, so we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. And today, we're going through the deck called Modulith. We're trying to bring Modular back into Standard with, of course... <laughs> The first card we're going to show off is called the Ozolith. It's a one drop. Thank God it's a one drop. Legendary artifact. But whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. Now at the beginning of the combat on your turn, if the Ozolith counters had counters on it, you may move all counters from the Ozolith onto the target creature. So this for this just basically, and with this we're going to bring back Simic Ascendancy. Which is, if you don't know, the enchantment. It's a blue and green. Uh, the first part really doesn't matter, but you can pay a 3, 1 green and blue. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. And then, if you have uh, 20 or more counters on here, then you win the game. And to make sure to let you know, with the Ozolith, when the counters get on and then place onto a creature, that is putting counters on the creature. So therefore, you can just keep, hopefully, doing this and building this real quick, no matter how many times they kill your creature. It's pretty cool. And then, yeah. And so for each 1-1 one, one counter you put on a creature, they get a sentence encounter. So there you go. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's going to be pretty wild to see just because you get to be like, it, it's like Ravager. You're like, ah, cool. All these counters go here. Ha. Yeah. Go there. And, and hopefully then, you just ah, win. Cool. Next turn they go there. Wow. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So our first major dude to the deck is the Stone Coil Serpent. It is X colorless for a 0-0. Zero, zero, and it comes in the battlefield with X 1-1 one, one counters on it, where X is what you pay. And it's got reach, trample, and protection from multicolor. Yep. So this is overall is just a really good card because it's it gives you enough bang for your buck of what you pay for. Yeah. If you only need like a 3-3 with all those abilities, cool, great. And with this deck, it makes it even stupider because of modular and because of the Ozolith, you're just like, cool, that thing dies, give me all those counters. Yeah. It's one thing just so this even if you want to just quickly put things on the Ozolith, you make this a 2-2 or a 3-3 or whatever. And that's also putting counters on the Ascendancy if you get there. Yeah, and Ozolith can still put the counters back on that because it is not, or it is a uh, non multicolor Yep, exactly. The next one, the Growth Chamber Guardian. It's a 1 and a 2, 2-2. Two, two. And then you can pay 3 to adapt it for 2, so you can put 2 counters on it, which of course puts counters on everything else. And then if one or more counters are placed on Growth Chamber, you go search your library for another Growth Chamber. So. You can constantly just have dudes to put more counters on them, pretty much. I just realized how dumb that is, because the way Adapt reads is if this creature has no one counters on it. So you do it one time, take them from it with the Ozolith, whenever it dies. Oh, well, it, 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 it dies. dies, so never yeah, mind. Yeah. It, if we have bounce effects, then yeah, you can bounce it, and come back, and then keep yeah. doing that. And I, I forgot cute. it only works one way. Uh, next up is Hydroid Crisis. It is a blue, green, and X, where it's a, X is equal to what you pay. So it's a 1-1 one -one counter for each X. Yep. Um, when you cast this spell, you gain half X life and draw X, and draw half X cards will round it down each time. So, and it's got Flying and Trample. Yep. This is the other really good deck, or really good card that gets with X counters, because you're just like, cool, I'm gonna make a big dude and draw four cards, or draw two cards, or yeah. any number of things. And then gain that much life a little bit too, and then... You will just put more counters on everything. Yeah. X is four is you have a four, four flyer trample that gains you two, two cards and two life. Yeah. That's called Seems value. Seems good. Seems pretty awesome. The next one is a ferocious Hydra. It's X and two green. This is a zero one with trample. It is the battlefield with X one one counters on it, of course, but it has two options. Uh, the first one is double that many one one counters on it. So that's pretty awesome. That or it fights target creature you don't control. So it helps you control the board with a creature as well. Just in case you really, really need to. Yeah, and you can auto fight a dude to just to kill it to put those counters on something else with Ocelot. Yep. Next is the Wildborn Preserver. He is a green and one for a 2 2 flash reach. Whenever another non human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X, where X, and when you do, put X counters on Wildborn Preserver. Yep. Hopefully, you can get just extra long game, or so you play something small and then just jam all the counters yep. on the dude. And then you just put more counters on things. The next one is Jorvo, Lord of Grimbrig. It's three green, a uh, giant noble. Enters the battlefield with four counters on it. So for three mana, you get four already. 
And whenever another green creature comes under your control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on your bow. And if that creature is bigger, you put an additional 1-1 one -one counter on it. So this guy just gets bigger and he's mean and he's insane. Yeah, he gets kind of out of hand really quickly. Next up is the Galloping Lizrog. It is a blue, green, and three for a three, three trample uh, frog lizard. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you may remove any number of one encounters from among creatures you control. If you do, put twice that many on this as. And yeah, it's the super secret tech of the deck just to be like, remove all counters, put them all on here, put them all on the ascendancy, win the game kind of thing. So you just, just cr go crazy on those. And of course, if they kill it because it's a huge dude, then you just put on the Ozolith, and then there you go. Yeah. Now, of course, it's one of the new kill spells. I actually have kill on the little combo deck. It's ram through. It's one in a green instant target creature you control deals damage equal to the power of the target creature you don't control. If the creature you control has trample, excess damage is dealt to the controllers instead. Yeah. For two instant speed, it's insane. It's the best prey upon effect that you can ever have. The fact that you don't fight either, you just deal the damage. It's uh, super good. And most of your dudes have Trample anyway. So, it's awesome. Next up is Hydra's Growth. It is a green and two for a new or enchantment from the new set. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put it 1-1 one -one counter on an enchanted creature. At the beginning of your upkeep, double the 1-1 one -one counters on enchanted creature. And that's what it does. It doubles counters yeah, immediately. So you have this in play, you put it on a Stone Coil Serpent, you're just like, cool, I'll get free counters for days. Yeah. Or even Yorbo, he already has four counters on him and makes him a 5-5. Five five. And then next turn he's a 10-10 ten ten because he starts out with the counter. So yeah, it gets ridiculous. The first, the Iron Games, it's a two and a green uh, saga actually. So turn one, you put a 1-1 one, one, uh, human soldier creature token, whatever. But turn two, you put three counters on target creature you control. So it can be anything. And then if you control creature four or greater, draw two cards, so it helps you there. And then of course, create a gold token, which you can tap to uh, produce any uh, color that you need to at the moment. Sometimes you're gonna need to. Yep. Next up is Vivian the Archbow Ranger. She has three green and one for a four loyalty planeswalker. You plus one, distribute two all encounters among up to two other target creatures. They gain trample until the end of turn. Yep. Minus three, target creature you control does damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. And then minus five, you may choose a creature card you want from outside the game, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Yeah. So she's really only going to be good here for the first and the second one for most of the time. Um, and the second one's really kind of good because of Ozolith, because you're like, cool, I need to kill that dude, so let's kill him. Yeah. Get stuff back and play it. And then kill a dude, and then hopefully you control the board from there, and then of yeah. course, just plus one, put two dudes. Or two counters. Uh, that is the deck. It's kind of I know most of the stuff is the old ones, and I know I could probably mess with Mutate and all that fun stuff, but that'll probably be a whole nother deck, to be honest. This way, I feel like this would be the quickest way to just jam counters on Ascendancy. And uh, with the lands, of course, it's just blue-green. So we have the Breeding Pools, we have the Castle of Vantress, so basically the special Scry Land, pay four, Scry two. It's as simple as that. Uh, Fable Passage, because I love it. It's just way good. So, it, it is a lot better than gave it credit. Yeah. Four silence and a few temples just because uh, to scry and whatnot. Because you're not really needing to go super fast with this deck. You can just build up and stuff, but it'll help you out for sure. Uh, that is the deck. I just wanted to try the Ozolith with a Simmency. Just two wacky cards and put them together and see if it works. It, it sounds awesome because you're just getting counters for days. And like, I, I lived through... Ravager block and that's awful. <laughs> yeah, so why not be able to bring it back? It's kind of cool to me Kind of excited. Yeah, so uh, With that if <clears throat> you see any changes that you probably definitely would like to put in go ahead and leave a comment down below uh, With that hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. You have a good day. Goodbye later Also guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button subscribe to our channel And if you want to keep up to date on all the future content make sure you click that bell It will give you all the notifications you need with that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.